G'day, welcome back to the shed, welcome back to Flat Tank Journey and Flat Tank Friday again. Been away for a while, haven't got anything done. I was trying to make weekly videos, but it just didn't work out. I don't want to fill the channel full of rubbish, garbage, there's way too many YouTube channels like that. And I suppose, in the end of it, that's what restoring old bikes is about. It's about patience. So, I haven't done much for the last few weeks because I was a bit held up and to be honest I was a little bit frustrated with the lever and the cables and a whole range of mechanisms it's all been a bit trying good news of the week though is pistons back from having the gudgeon pin hole reamed out it's been reamed out beautifully he's put one thou of taper in it so when he only goes in from one side pushes in and firms up just as you get to the other side done a great job but he has had it for weeks I think it's a lesson for all of us to just be patient if you want something odd done firstly you've got to find the person that will do it for you but secondly then you've got to take it there leave it there and not hassle the crap out of the guy he did it he only charged me 20 bucks 20 dollars is practically nothing but I did wait weeks for it to be done so that was cool I'll show you that and then we'll come back to the bike and I'll show you what I've been up to. Let's come in and we'll have a closer look at the piston and the ream out. And you can see all of that. Well, not sure how much this year to see. But here's the reamed out hole. And it's done a lovely job. Really happy. Tiny chamfer on the edge. Yes, it's sitting up on a beer can. Excuse the noise while I turn the can. And there's the other side that allegedly is a thou smaller or got a thou taper in it. It all sits together really well. Gudgeon pin just sitting down there. Really happy with it. And $20 is neither here nor there. Over the next week or two, because uh, I've got to go and do a bit of work, I'm going to try and get it back in the bike and get everything buttoned up and the barrels on. On the topic of the bike, Let's move over and I can show you what I've been beat my head against the wall with while I've been away. Let's come in and have a look at the lever. The lever's finished up pretty well and I've got the cables in and yes they function. My mistake was that the cable outer is pulling down the metal outer liner and it's sliding back into the lever. I actually need to build a couple of tiny brass cable holders that will sit inside the hole but hold the cable firmly so it doesn't slip inside i suspect that was the design to begin with but i didn't know that and i thought that the metal housing on the cable would hold it all in place but it doesn't <coughs> and it hasn't worked the way i thought it was going to work i admit i did have to slice the cable holder and put it on later so maybe that's why it's pulling down but it's all together and it just doesn't work the way i planned so yes it functions but no it doesn't function correctly and it'll be a pain in the bottom in the long run but hey that's bikes that's my channel wins and losses other than that the lever, lever looks quite good and the cables go into place let's come down and have a look at the cables on the carby Coming in, my plan is to tuck the cables up under the tank. Now I cheated and put a couple of cable adjusters in. Ah, that's my want. I want to have flexibility to adjust the cables into the right place. So I hid them up underneath the tank. Coming down though, they come right in and virtually touch the barrel. I suppose they'll clear it, but only just. Other than that, cables go into the carby, everything's fine. So maybe I'm not as far as I thought, but I do have to build those little things for the lever. Not really sure how, and I'm not really sure when, but I will get to it. Other than that, everything down there is fine. Well, that's it for Flat Tank Friday for me. It's um, not an exciting episode to watch, that's for sure. And I apologise for being away for so long. But this is kind of old bikes for me. 
I have fits of enthusiasm and I get on with it. And then I have times where it tries me, and this has tried me for a while. Over the next couple of weeks, and I suspect it'll be a couple of weeks, I'm going to disassemble all this, get the barrel off, get the piston on, make sure everything's turning over right, and I'll get some footage, and I'll put it all together in a more decent episode. But for now, that's it. Thanks for the people who've subscribed over the last couple of weeks. Just a few more. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe and the like button. And if you don't like what you see, well, that's cool too. You don't have to watch. Thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers.